and it shows political divisions, which are man-made divisions between countries. So you see France, Germany, Italy, but from space you can't see that. Why is that? Because we can't from space. But there are physical uh, features on this map, this three-dimensional map, such as the Ural Mountains in Russia, and we find different mountains such as the Asian Mountains in the United States, the Rocky Mountains, and it's a feature that illustrates those physical features. So we look right here, and we have lakes, we have rivers, we have oceans that are identified. Okay, so this is a two-dimensional map. This is a political map that shows divisions between countries that exist on Earth. Flat, two-dimensional, political. That describes this particular map. Are looking at a globe okay so there's a particular line that is measured from here to here and that is the equator now the line that is measured from here to here that is known as the prime meridian the prime meridian actually cuts right through the town of meridian in England and it actually separates the earth into western and eastern hemispheres while the equator separates the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. Lines of latitude and lines of longitude, they run parallel to one another, kind of like train tracks. They never intersect, except when latitude and longitude lines intersect themselves. But specifically, lines of latitude and then lines of longitude, they run parallel to one another. What's the difference between absolute and relative location? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Absolute location can be found by using the lines of latitude and the lines of longitude and the coordinate points that they make when they intersect. Relative location refers to a place where it's located in relation to another place. 